us married now. Especially with women like you. Hey boo, what is up? So in today's video, we are doing a face lifting makeup tutorial because girl, I feel like playing in makeup. I'm just so excited to get back to it. It's been so much going on. Be sure to watch my vlogs if you want to know like what's been going on behind the scenes. We have lots of new makeup to play in and try. So let's just get started. So of course, I'm gonna start off with my skincare, my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner all natural vegan and organic okay it's going to hydrate my skin it's going to restore the ph because i do have a nice clean freshly washed face oh, that feels so good and then i'm going to press some of my sk2 facial essence into my skin girl because this is just so plumping and so juicing and that's what we need when we want to do like anti-aging facelifting makeup any makeup over 40 and over 50 you definitely want to you know juice up the skin as much as possible but especially if you're talking about facelifting makeup okay you definitely need it oh and girl just so you know <laughs> this makeup is not about to be no quick makeup okay when we talk about facelifting makeup we are talking about detailing a lot I have beginner friendly i have five minutes ten minutes i have all types of makeup videos on my channel so if you are not ready to get down and dirty with the brushes and take time and chat and all of the things you might as well you know boo this makeup is not gonna be quick okay we're, we're snatching the eyes we're snatching the cheeks you know typically normally i just focus on really perfecting the skin and making sure it looks its best but when we're talking about facelifting makeup we're adopting techniques from the drag queen and we're just gonna scale it down but we're still about to go all the way in so strivectin sent over this sd advanced intensive moisturizer for for wrinkles and stretch marks I have been using this for the last couple of days and nights and what I like about it is that it really does saturate the skin and moisturize it and plump it up but it doesn't leave like an oily look or a greasy look it's really really nice like you can really feel the moisture and usually when something has this type of moisturizing capabilities it's usually something that you would have to put on at night like during the day you really don't want a look that's too oily or greasy or shiny so i know for me i save all of the greasy oily super plumping super line filling products for the nighttime but for this to be so skin loving and your skin just really soaks it up and doesn't feel dry and it actually feels better after you put it on it's really like not super shiny it's really more of a matte finish which is really really impressive like how you do that girl oh and you know father's day is coming up honey ysl sent this over for the guys and when i tell you this smells so good baby this smells like the ysl libre intense but for a guy look at how chic this is it has thousands of reviews on the sephora website girl the men are loving it the women are loving it everybody is on there saying how yummy they men smell and the men are on there saying how much they love it and girl for a minute it almost feels like it could be unisex you know i have used to wear a guy cologne okay back in the day you who remembers you j-o-o-p girl i used to wear that because that smelled so good to me. and it almost feels like this could be like one of those ones that are unisex and somebody even said that in the review but nah i don't think so like when it dries down it dries down masculine but yeah girl this smells so good and the bottle is refillable mm. 
I smell like I deserve a big piece of chicken. So let's go ahead and start with priming the face. Now, I wanna show you this primer that I got from Sephora. It is the Always an Optimist Weightless Eye Primer. This is how it looks. It is by Rare Beauty. And I got this because one of the young ladies on Instagram had said that she uses this in like her smile line so that they don't crease. And you already know, if you watch this channel, that that is huge for me. Like, I'm always working on my makeup not breaking apart in my smile lines. So I got this. I've been playing with it with my eyes because it is an eyeshadow primer and I like it. So we definitely are going to be using this today. I also got a liquid blush from Valentino. If you know, you know, the sunset blush is still trending on social media girl and why as soon as I got this Pat McGrath gonna come out with a stick blush or whatever and it's like the most beautiful fuchsia you would ever see in life this is more of a hot pink which is what I was in the market for but I'm like dang because if you know the um the sunset blush trend is with a hot pink but I'm like dang I really like I probably would have got that one if it didn't just if I didn't just get this so I don't know if we're gonna use this today but yeah this is also something that I picked up and I picked up a $30 eyeliner from Pat McGrath but let me tell you mother did not disappoint it's like the perfect deep brown Oh my goodness, like I really needed like a deep, deep brown that's almost black and baby, this just did the trick. This did it for me and it came with a pencil sharpener. Bang for your buck in my opinion. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's beautiful, it's long lasting. Right, so let me go ahead and use the last of this girl, my Bobbi Brown face base because that's what we do over here i'm not yeah it's gone but it ain't that gone honey it's still some up in here as you can see and we about to use every last bit of it okay and when i use this i don't use a moisturizer that's why i didn't use the strivectin because this is a primer and a moisturizer all in one now that it's all on i'm just gonna really 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 work it in and now I'm going to take a little bit of the Bobbi Brown eye base and just put a tad bit of that underneath my eye when you're doing this type of makeup which I don't want to say heavy because I don't want to scare anybody off but lots of layers lots of steps and not very sheer you know you are using thicker products you are using more of it and it's just more step um you definitely want to really prep the skin really good with great skincare and great like primers because you want it to last you don't want the makeup to break up on you so definitely always just take the time to prep okay so our primer has had a chance to soak up a bit i'm gonna take a little bit of alcohol and strip my brows because brows are just such a huge part of makeup it really frames the face and especially with this type of look the brows have to be right i don't know if i want to use this in my smile lines today let's go ahead and try let's test it out While the brows are drying down let's put some of this in my trouble area girl i don't even see nothing i'm telling you that dry back then been working i told you i've been using it day and night so this is what the young lady did on Instagram. Blend it out really, really good. And then I'm gonna go in with my one size puff girl look. Patrick Star and One Size done sent over their new powders, girl. OMG, it's three of them. It's the Marigold. And they come with this little like 
protective thing like when I open this I'm like oh my goodness it's not gonna be any problems like if you order this through the mail with like shipping and all of that stuff like that cuz girl they did the packaging really really nice so this is the Marigo. This is the Rich Peach. This is the one I've been using. I put this on my daughter for prom and everything. Love this shade, Rich Peach, for the dark skin, OMG. And then this one is Ultra Peach. And if you know, you know Patrick Star one size powders are a absolute favorite everybody loves them everybody raves about them they are so blurring it's a very thick powder boo finely milled but thick pigmented covers blurs you know my guy is a boy so you know his makeup is going to be thicker heavier full of coverage if you watch patrick star makeup tutorials he loves very full coverage product so i expected nothing less from his brand because that's the type of makeup that he loves so for this i'm going to use the laura mercy air because this is the right color that i need the young lady um pressed like a translucent powder that is her color over the primer so that it wouldn't be like, you know, white underneath the foundation. And then she said, you know, just go in with the foundation afterwards. Now, I did see somebody else use this same trick before. But, I, I mean, it is looking, it is looking pretty good. Like, wow. <laughs> what? What? what it's smooth as hell what anyway girl i did see somebody use this exact trick before with another eyeshadow primer so when i saw the young lady recommend this one by rare beauty and you know i saw that it was like a thinner more liquidy looser consistency i said i will be willing to give this one a try and i'm glad i did because girl stop okay let's go in with brows i'm gonna use my anastasia beverly hill brow wiz pencil and for this you know what actually i'm gonna do what i've been doing i've been taking the jason Wu, and i've just been like drawing a line right up underneath the brow and for the lifting makeup you want to go up and out And I've been using this one just to create like the baseline, which I want to be dark and defined. And then I go in and fill in the brow with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in dark brown. And I'm just doing hair strokes. Girl, look cute boo and 
as you can see it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit fuller you can't be talking about some anti-aging makeup and facelifting with thin outdated ugly looking brows okay i could like do the eyes first and then cut and all of that stuff like that and then put the foundation on last that's not really my style though and i do still like it to be natural and soft and not so chiseled and not so cut but you know for today we might switch it up i don't know but let's start with the brows i'm gonna use the mac studio finish and shade in 30 to carve out my brow just a little bit I found myself just swiping on Instagram, girl. Like, I be just be like, okay, same old. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get kind of bored with Instagram because people do what they got to do to please the algorithm and like stay in their niche and continue to get discovered and you know continue to please their audience and then it's just like okay another cute outfit and you know i don't know instagram it don't show you people it showed me me like i'm sitting up scrolling and i scrolled and saw my own reel i'm like what like aren't you supposed to be showing me people that i follow and then they show you the people that you follow and it's the most interactive with accounts and it's just like uh can you please give me something new that's why i always like find myself on tiktok and just like really kind of enjoying the platform more it's just like a user like i enjoy instagram as a content creator and to talk to you know my audience sometimes you know get inspiration get ideas see what other what the other girlies and stuff is doing and i just be like i hate not to like interact with content that you know of people that i like but it's just like you again instagram i need to see something new i think that tiktok kind of spoiled us in that way whereas you know you don't tiktok you don't know what you're going to be served up next. The only time, like, um, Instagram serves you up new content of people that you're, like, not following and don't know is on the reels. The people that you follow, the homepage or whatever. Girl, it's the same old, same old. I be getting bored with it. Because, see, you got to understand, I come from an Instagram time where people would just, like, update you about their day like oh my god i had this cute outfit on today or oh my god i stopped at this bomb restaurant and i ordered this for lunch it was so tasty they'll just put up like random pictures of their kid like my kid was playing in my dress shoes today and that was the type of stuff that you saw on instagram now it's just all of this curated content and don't nobody be talking about nothing because it's instagram and it's just like a short quick video showing an outfit or a cute transformation or a little quick makeup tutorial and it's just not like engaging like a little heartfelt moment or something like that of someone that you follow who just was like posting a kid just giving like a life update everything is very polished and everything is very structured and everything is very planned out like even when people do update like their real life you know what i mean they have the baby or whatever like the baby face gotta it gotta be hidden you gotta they gotta reveal the baby face girl look show the baby show you in your hospital with the hair wow like give me give me in the moment you know what i mean and that's really what i think that we all have kind of grown to appreciate about tiktok so with the rare beauty um eyeshadow primer i just like to like press it in to the skin and kind of like use my finger to get it all over and then i think too like that's why i try like kind of to follow new people just so that i can get something new because instagram gonna show you big accounts and when they show you those big accounts then people gonna post 
the same stuff over and over and over and over and over again i'm gonna go in now with a concealer i don't know which one should i use the hourglass or the natasha denona hmm let's go with natasha for today and i'm gonna put this all over underneath my eye i really should have used um that white pencil on my inner corner like i've been planning on doing because this eye is always watering so like i said i'm gonna start putting down like a waxy pencil right on the inner corner i still can um but i didn't do it because i was like okay i did put the primer down so let's see how that works but i still might taking the born this way and butterscotch and laying this down as my highlight I only use the Natasha Denona and Hourglass and stuff like that right directly underneath my eye. I'm just going to pat this out. Take my Real Techniques face blending brush and just soften up those harsh edges. Oh, girl, makeup by Mario. He got a new um liquid bronzer out. I'm like, ooh. So that's probably gonna be um what's next on my purchase list, girl. Cause it was looking good. I'm like, okay, I'm loving this. You know what I love about myself these days? That I choose me. I mean, cause at some point, baby, you gonna have to especially if you're single especially if you're single and you never had kids like at least if you had kids it's a chance that somebody gonna take care of you but if you single and you haven't ever had kids who gonna take care of you but you and baby i'm single and i still have a minor child okay i don't have an adult child I have a teenager and shout out to her congratulations my baby looked amazing on prom and graduated high school with college offers so she did her big one and pat myself on the back and give a bow to the village to help me okay and i said all that to say like i can't put the onus of taking care of me on my child so if I don't, who's going to? So yes, boo, I'm definitely in my doing what's best for me era. And it feels amazing. Well, I'm just going to stamp this in. And girl, guess what? Oh, I'm just a chatty body yes, for the last video. But girl, guess what? <laughs> Happy to be back. I mean, I can't. I'm so quick to talk i'm choking <clears throat> i was recently talking to like a psych professional like she's not like a psychologist or a psychiatrist but she's in like the mind field right like once we started interviewing you know her inflection changed and she was so like you know like kind of switched on if you know what i mean and girl why she told me though that the happiest people because like speaking of being single and stuff the happiest people according to statistics not google but like real life statistics um the happiest people are single women and married men now that's t oh you heard me right because even the bible tell you honey a man that finds a wife finds a good thing baby and I already know. You ain't got to tell me. I ain't never been married. But baby, I done been in some long-term relationships. Living together and all of that. But girl, yeah. So you ain't got to tell me, Miss Lady Girl. It's like, girl, I already know. People want to always bring up statistics. Black women, least desirable and all that. Now, let's talk about that. Let's talk about also some statistics that bypass race. 
the happiest people in the world are single women and married men. How about those apples? So I'm just softening out the lines on this concealer. As you can see, we are leaving it pretty thick because we still working with this. Let's let this continue to like dry down and get thick, okay? And while we are, let's go in with the NARS foundation. This is in shade Macau. I want to take my new brush, but I haven't think I'm not how to work with this brush yet. Oh, this is looking good for like the full coverage because I tried to um, use this with a really, really sheer foundation and girl, it was giving wiping it off. You want to push the product into your hairline ever so slightly, not a lot, just a little. Okay, now let's go in with the LYS bronzer all around the face because girl, we looking so pale. You know what? Chisel the gel out just a tad. And closer to the hairline, I'm gonna use a little bit of my hourglass foundation stick. I'm gonna just like kind of get that in there with my hand a little bit. Oh, and these brushes are on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them below. It's giving perfection. Oh, that look good. Let me take a little bit of this Dior in 2W and tap a tab it on my nose just to lighten up that tip. Then a little bit on the inner corner. And just going over everything, softening it, pressing it into the skin. I'm gonna use one more cream, and that is my cream blush. So I'm gonna take the Danessa Myrix all over the highest point on the cheek. Okay, now I'm gonna, and look, the smile lines are snatched off. Okay, now let's press some of my Chanel Libre underneath the eye to set the makeup. All right, now let's take some of the hourglass and bake with it. This is a luxury, thick, full coverage powder. Not as thick as the Patrick Star or the Huda Beauty, but thick nonetheless. And I'm just gonna take this, take the point of this and kind of cut the eye upward a little bit, starting with that, that um, lifting effect. And using the sponge is not pressing this in too tough, it's allowing it to sit on the skin a little bit, which is what we want, because we just baking with this. We, we baking with, with high end these days. Yes, ma'am. God, it's amazing. We take our NARS bronzer and bronze up. Period. Let's go in with some of this MAC Studio Fix. Carve out the nose with our foundation color. Oh, and did you see Rihanna is coming out with hair too? 
Yes, girl. Fenty hell. Soon to be here, babe. Miss Sacred. Miss Sacred. Riri said move over some. Yes, she did. And what about it? Riri done. Riri is cashing in on skin. <laughs> Riri is cashing in on hair. Riri is cashing in on makeup. Talk about using your job to build your brand. Hello. This girl said, I ain't gonna say it no more. <laughs> to a winner. She said, baby, I'm having children. Okay. And making that digital dollar. Okay. A new release, new release. Influence the party. Get it, girl. We're gonna take our mirror makeup blush quad. Now, boo, if you are a beginner and you wanna try the sunset blush trend, go ahead and grab this off my site because you know it's just easier to work with powders than it is with liquid. So, yeah, girl, just get this. It has everything that you need to do the sunset blush trend. And by the way, the young lady that I'm not gonna say it came up with because you already know that I have been showing you how to do like the gradient and stuff like that. Only difference is I use like the same color. I transitioned from light orange to dark orange, and she transitioned from like light um neon orange to neon pink, and it's so pretty. And everybody like fell in love with it including me you know what i mean i'm like yes come on come through that is cute if you're a little intimidated by liquids you can try the mirrored makeup blush quad and still do the sunset blush trend using this always just take your brush and kind of just touch all over your whole face it's not gonna hurt right it just makes everything nice and cohesive and pretty. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna go back in and do the um a little bit more on the cheeks after we're done. But for now, this is the base. Now we can go in and work on eyes. This is the fun part. This is the snatching part. So I'm gonna use this bottom row because it's so pretty. And I'm also gonna use a couple of more MAC shadows that's not in this palette. This one right here is Shade and Bark. And this one, girl, I don't even know. I don't, I don't remember what this is, boo. Like, the name is so off, it's not even funny. But it's one of my most favorite MAC eyeshadows. It looks so good. So I couldn't do this look without it. So we just gonna start with this one and just get it really good in the crease. Windshield wiper back and forth, really tight right here in the crease. And I, I go back and forth. I don't work on my eye too tough. Like, especially when you're doing um, something like as intricate as this is going to be. You don't want to, you don't want to like get too deep with it because you'll forget. <laughs> this is this is so pretty like if you are a beginner in makeup be, trust me invest in your shadows boo because you need stuff that's gonna work you need stuff that's gonna blend out like you ain't got time like buff the shadow we're gonna go here and just pop Pop a little bit right at the highest point of the brow and we went fluffy we didn't go precise so nice I actually love this palette okay now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush in this shade and I'm just gonna soften and extend the outer eye out while like softening the brow and also softening the head of the, the start of that transition shade. So next I'm gonna go in with this brush and this single shadow here and just kind of do the same thing. Windshield wiper motion. And I'm going like really light handed. 
And then we're gonna start working on the outer V with this shade right here. Start at the corner of the lower lash and then drag it up and out like that. Starting to doing the lifting. Start sweeping this along the lower lash line. Just connecting that lift and just sweeping it along the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take this brush in that same color and just kind of start circling right here on the outer V. Just lifting this skin. Camouflaging that like droopy outer portion of the eye. We're darkening this and that's like giving it a lift. We could stop here, boo. We could stop here. We lift it back. We lift it. But let's continue, let's continue. So now we're going to go in with this shade right here. I know it's looking real smoky. We could do the sultry look, boo. But that is nighttime. You hear me? I was married now. I say I was married now. Go in with our smudger brush. Girl, I did the own um, makeup on. Did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That's why it's looking this sultry. I was supposed to use this one, why not? Ew. Anyway, I was supposed to tight line with the with the color we done. Girl, anyway. Let's just tight line with this one. It's a it's a beautiful palette, as you can see. Like you can just like you don't have to use other stuff. And see the eye, the eye is going upward but with a shadow. It's not a hard chisel. The eye is just being pulled. Let's put a little bit of white right in the center. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Patrick Star Ultra Peach and I'm just going to cut underneath my eye slightly, just a little bit. Like, I want like that white all right here. And that's why I'm kind of just like sweeping, not pressing. Because remember I told you you can use powder to like soften and stuff like that. So that's really what we're, we're doing with this. Okay, now let's go in with the Maybelline Gel Liner. And I'm just going to like draw a really 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 tight line not sure if I'm gonna do a wing for now we're just gonna draw a very tight line So much for that. We could use a very, very dark brown. And I might do that. I might go in with this very, very dark brown and just tap a little bit to connect the liner. And oh my God, so I like the liner. Just to connect the wing, the liner with the shadow. All right, let's start dusting off the bake. Okay, we still gotta set and put on our lashes. Let me zoom in before I start spraying my face with setting spray. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Stunning. 
not sure if I want to go in with my the Alba or my Charlotte Tilbury or both. I'm going to go in with a little bit of both. I'm just going to take away a little bit of the eye with this. And then I'm going to set with this. Just drench the face. Okay, instead of using like a white shadow, I'm going to use a face powder and do my inner corner as far as laying down that initial white shade just to transition it into um, the other shadows. Then I'm going to go in to my MAC into this one and drag a little bit on my lower lash line and put it in the inner corner. Girl, stop. Let's put a little bit of the Lancome Big Monsieur. Let's coat the lashes with this just a little bit before we go in with the blouses. A little bit more setting spray. The sprayer on here does exactly what you say, dude. Then I'm going to take MAC Costa Richie and line my lips. And girl, let's go ahead and, and do a auntie lip. But where's the gold lipstick, bay? Bam, bronze shimmer. Then we're going to gloss it up with the hourglass. So now for the lash, what are we going to do? I'm thinking go hard or go home. Baby, when I tell you this look is giving queen. This is so sexy and sultry. This is the type of smoky eye you want when you are mature. You still want light in there. But overall, when your eye is open, it looks dark, it looks sexy, it looks sultry. But when you close and you look down, you know, you still got, you still have some reflection going on. The Fancy Lash just elevated this. I look so sophisticated and rich and expensive. I'm looking like pass me that champagne. I'm looking like sneaker ball. I'm looking like event because that's what makeovers do. They not only make you look good, they make you feel good. So yeah, girl, I'm about to go take some selfies and eat my big piece of chicken. If you made it this far and you stuck around, thanks, boo. Put big piece of chicken in the comment section. And if you would like to work with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, getting all of the beauty, makeup, skincare advice with some fashion sprinkled in there, girl, hit me up in the DM. Join my free VIP beauty community. It's going to be me personally, Kiki Carr, working with you in the DM to get you looking your absolute best. Looking your best, feeling your best, smelling your best. It goes down in the DM. Don't forget to shop my site for lashes, makeup, and skincare. In the meantime, click like, click share, click subscribe, <laughs> duh, and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sounds like a